I looked through the entire collection, could not find it, which is really annoying. Ozians. I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you. And welcome to the channel. Last time I talked about Hallmark, we looked at all of the original ornaments that were released in 1994. And today, we will be looking at the ornaments that were released over the following two years in 1995 and 1996. And if you haven't seen that original video, it is linked down below. So let's look at some ornaments. Our first ornament here is Galinda, the Good Witch of the North. And I don't own this one. I don't have a complete collection of all of Harmark's Wizard of Oz ornaments, but I do have a lot of them. Size-wise, Glinda is a little bit bigger than the previous four ornaments that were released one of the things that's kind of held me off from buying this ornament and tracking it down is that there are later Glindas that are a little bit fancier and also feature either glitter or other iridescent pieces that really look great on a Christmas tree. This one is one of mm, quite a few that Hallmark has done where there isn't much that can reflect and do interesting things considering it's Glenda and she has that fabulous dress, it would make more sense if the ornament was a little bit fancier. So that's why I've never tracked this one down. But besides that, she's a very nice ornament. The sculpting is great. This definitely looks like Glenda. And the colors are a little bit strange in that she kind of comes off peachy instead of pink. This is another one of those interesting things that happened during this time as far as Wizard of Oz merchandise went, in that the colors weren't always consistent. And with Hallmark, that's also something that they have done, is that they've never quite been consistent with all the colors selected for the Wizard of Oz characters. And strangely, this was the only ornament released in 1995. So we'll move on to 1996. This year featured another new character, and that was the Wicked Witch of the West. And this was my very first Hallmark ornament that I ever got. Back when I was a kid. I think this was might have been in Christmas 1997 that I got her. I don't think I got her in 1996. Because I remember getting some of the other ornaments from 97, so... I think she was bought the previous year and held off until that Christmas, but anyways. The Wicked Witch here was designed by the same designer that designed the original Dorothy. I really like the stance and the pose that they have done for the Wicked Witch. It's definitely a representation of her first appearance in the Munchkinland scene. She's either approaching Dorothy, or she is approaching Dorothy's house to look at her sister who's been crushed. Either way, it's a fabulous ornament. So that was the Wicked Witch. And the next ornament I do own. But I don't know where it is. So I literally searched twice for this video, for this ornament, I looked through the entire collection, could not find it, which is really annoying. And it's definitely one of the problems that happens when you get a large collection is <laughs> you start to forget where things are. And I think the reason why this ornament got misplaced is because I own it in the original brown shipper box. So it could be that I'm just overlooking it and mistaking it for something else. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, it is the Wizard of Oz. And this is the first of only a handful of state balloon ornaments that Hallmark made. And I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. And I... Remember last Christmas, 
also not having it on my Christmas tree. So, yeah, it's kind of been missing for a while. It's really safe. and I really hope it made it after the move. Really hope. This ornament was also the first of many Hallmark Club Edition ornaments, meaning that you had to be a member of Hallmark's Ornament Club to be able to purchase this ornament, making it a little bit more exclusive than the other ones. This is definitely an ornament that I would suggest you only display hanging, as those little metal pieces that are holding the balloon part to the basket are a little bit flimsy, so I wouldn't put it just displaying sitting somewhere because those pieces might crush it and it might collapse. So that's this is definitely not one that I would just have sitting out in the Oz collection. I would definitely get an ornament stand and have it hanging up. And our last ornament from 1996 is the Emerald City. And this is a lovely ornament that I never owned as a kid. This is my earliest memory of seeing Hallmark ornaments in a store, was seeing the display for this one and seeing those characters dancing around. I was just entranced by this thing. And I remember for years afterwards still wanting this ornament. So. It wasn't until I was an adult collector that <laughs> I picked this one up um, on eBay. But it's definitely a standout from a lot of the early ornaments. And it's our first moving one from Hallmark. This ornament not only moves, it also lights up and plays We're Off to See the Wizard. It's just a really great example of Hallmark going above and beyond with their Wizard of Oz ornaments. The only thing you have to watch out with this one is to make sure that wherever you put this on a tree, it can actually support this ornament because it is a little heavy. Now, it, this one is not a battery operated one. You do have to plug this one into an actual string of lights. That's another aspect of some of these earlier moving ones, but fabulous ornament. And that was all of the ornaments from 1995 to 1996. Hallmark was definitely upping their game with each release. Now, if you wanted to add any of these lovely ornaments to your collection, how much would it cost you? Well, the good news is that just like the original four, a lot of these ornaments were very, very popular when they came out and are very easy to get today. Glenda and the Wicked Witch are the easiest. The Wizard of Oz ornament with the balloon, that one, depending on the day, could either be inexpensive or it could be above 20 maybe $30 but the most expensive one is definitely going to be the Emerald City. I think since that one was the most expensive ornament that they had released yet, it was originally $32 here in the United States, but you can still get it for under that original retail, so that's at least good news for you if you don't own this ornament. Which of these ornaments were your favorite? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, happy holidays.